um, <laughs> in the field, in the classroom, in the hallways, and very rarely in any sport you coach that you have this large a group of seniors and they're not all getting equitable time. Do you have the same amount of seniors that start the season that you have at end the season? And I think that's a testament to these guys about how they all kind of just care about each other and put themselves um, behind the goals of the team. Uh, we mentioned it on senior day. They're going to like eight different states uh, all over the country. They're, um, it's everything from physical therapy to communications to medicine. So I know that uh, they're all going to be successful. They're all big futures ahead of them. Uh, and obviously they got a bunch of states they can visit each other if they'd like to when they have some time. Uh, so we're going to get started with our seniors. Our first guy, as uh, Coach alluded to earlier, had a major setback uh, just one week before we were headed to Disney. Uh, kind of a routine ground ball and an inner squad that wound up uh, with a really, really gross, gross looking uh, knee injury. And I thought he was okay and as I walked over. There was just guys kind of shaking their head like, don't go over there, don't look at it. Um, so to his credit, he kept showing up, he kept supporting, he hobbled himself and wheeled himself around Disney World with us, and uh, unfortunately his knee required pretty major surgery, uh, and, he, and he's kind of currently in the rehab phase now. Uh, I want to thank him for showing up every day, for helping us in any way he could, doing our pitch count, um, just being a, an overall team guy. And he's getting his varsity letter tonight, and that's Austin King.
<laughs> Our next guy had the uh, initial setback of uh, not being with us for Florida. Uh, we met as a staff, letting each player know kind of where they stood depth chart wise, what they needed to do to improve. Um, I told him I, I wouldn't promise a set number of innings, but to seize opportunities when they came. He ended up appearing in 14 of our 23 games. Uh, he saw time at short, he saw time at second. He was a steady defensive replacement, and the one thing I had talked to him about uh, was offensive production, and it just seemed like every opportunity he had offensively, he found a hole between short and third, or he found a hole up the middle. Um, he ended up scoring eight times. He picked up six hits along the way. He hit 462. Uh, he was a worker each day at practice, always looking to contribute. Uh, and as a coaching staff, we give out three uh, attitude coaches awards just for guys who um, kind of embody what we're all about and what we want our players to, to be all about in terms of work ethic, uh, putting the team first. Uh, and Nick's going to be one of the first people to get one of those tonight. And he's getting his first varsity letter, Nick Walsh. Tremendous versatility. Uh, he could be counted on in the outfield, on the mound, at first base. He was one of the better defensive outfielders we had. He had good range, strong arm. Uh, he appeared in 11 of our 23 games. Two of those appearances were on the mound. He logged uh, about six and two thirds innings, struck out five along the way. Uh, it took him a few at bats to break through with his first hit, and I know that his teammates were kind of ragging him uh, as the season went on, but once he uh, broke free with that first hit, all of a sudden a game or two later, uh, he hits the ball out uh, at Cumberland, which is a great highlight for us. Uh, tonight he's picking up his first letter, and he's going to be our second award winner for our Attitude Coaches Award, and that's Gabe Arena. Thank you. 